Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Anaselmi. How are you tonight? I am fine. Tired? Tired? Tired. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Great, great. How was your day today? Mm, a lot of work. Mm, plus other activities related to the uh, mm, academy is, is right, teacher. Academy activities. Academic activities or the academy activities? Academy activities. Academy activities, okay. Yeah, my day uh, has been uh, very busy. Did you work today? Yes, all day. That's really good. But I am happy. It's good. What area? What What's your area in your job? You know, what area do you work on? Is it accounting, financing, financing? financing. Yeah, yeah, you said right. Before. Payment and tax audit. Taxes, tax auditing. Okay. Yes. That's really good. Yeah. And you like what today you do, you do Friday, Today is Friday. <laughs> today is Friday and the and the body knows it. Are you planning to go somewhere? No. <laughs> Not tonight. Okay. Not tonight. I'm happy. Again. You're happy. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, me too. I'm happy. Man, this this was a very long week. It was a very long week. I just came back from Santa Ana. I had to take my cousin to Santa Ana and we went, I finished work at 12.30 and then I drove her, I drove her to Santa Ana. I felt, I felt really long, you know, it was a really long way. It was raining a lot. Okay. Okay, let's pretend that today is Sunday. <clears throat> Susana, Anna Selmi, Flor, welcome. So what Thank do you, you do? <laughs> Hello. Guys, what do you do? What do you like to do on a rainy day? What's your favorite activities? Make nothing. Nothing. Do nothing? Nothing. <laughs> I I see it. Okay. <laughs> like sleeping? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We need some sleep. We are a little bit older. But let's listen to a young person. Let's see, Gabriela. What do you do on a rainy day? A sleeping teacher. Really? <laughs> uh yes. <laughs> You know, sometimes, I mean, if it is raining cats and dogs, yes, sleeping if I have nothing to do. But if it is not raining that much, uh, I like running, running under the rain. Have really? you, yeah, have you ever run under the rain? No. No? Mm -mm. It's really nice. I mean, you get wet. You get wet, but it feels amazing. It feels amazing when you run under the rain. Okay. What about a rainy night? Sleeping? <laughs> uh, maybe watch a movie. Watch a movie? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the latest movie you watched, Gabriela? Sorry? What's the latest movie you've watched? Mm, I don't remember the name, but it's like mystery, crime. Is that your favorite kind of movies? Mm, no, I prefer the comedies, but 
Okay. Okay, good. Next, well, you know what? Let me do the attendance before we continue with some random questions and then we jump into the topic. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Adriana. <laughs> she is there. Okay. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Yeah, Edwin said that he had to work today. Flor de Maria Carvalho Ugarte. Present. Good. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. She's there too. She's working. Okay. Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. Here today. Carla Verónica Vasquez de Rivas. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Okay. Thank you, Gloria. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Wilfredo, if you're there, say present, please, whatever you can. There you go. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> Present teacher. <laughs> okay, enjoy your meal. Thank you That's for me. being with us. Eating. It's okay. You're excused. Okay, <laughs> so do you have any pets? Next question, do you have any pets? Yes. I have a pet. Yes, I have pets. Really? What kind of pets do you have, Susana, Anna, and Wilfredo? I have a dog. I have a four cats. Wait, I have, I have a dog. I have four cats. Yes, one dog, four cats. I Gatubela. have one rooster. I a have rooster? three turtles. Yes, two turtles. Turtles. Three turtles. Three. Three. Turtles? three. Okay. And one rooster. You have three, three toys. Yes, tortuguitas. Tortoise? Yeah, you have tortoise. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Totals, totals guys are in the sea. Yes. Okay. Ah, ah okay. Okay. They're sea totals. Mm. Uh, no, I'm letting you know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> tortoise are not from what do you call this. Hold on. There you go. Yeah. So tortoise are uh, land or earth earth animals. Okay, not from the sea. Just be careful with that. And okay. they cannot swim. Tortoises cannot swim. Okay, it's <laughs> a weird name. Okay. Wow. Your house is a zoo, Susanna. You have a. I have, have a four kids too. And you have kids too. Four kids too. Oh my God, it's a zoo. <laughs> okay. How about you, Wilfredo? Um, okay. I have a, a dog. That's all. And a cat. Okay. Both ladies. Two ladies, okay. Two ladies. But Two ladies. they are any brand. What do you mean, anywhere? <laughs> not on the raza. <laughs> They're not branded, they, okay. Yeah, I don't know, teacher, how do you say in, in, oh, in English? Yeah, the race, race, <laughs> race, 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 yes. Yes, but um, four years ago, teacher, I, I changed um, 
address. You moved. Yeah, I, I moved. Mm, then um, a friend offered me a, a little dog, but it is mixed and between uh, Doberman and Aguacatero. What? Be yes. careful, be careful. <laughs> They're breathe. And I'm sorry, it's not race, it's breathe, okay. The breathe. breathe. Okay. Yeah. When you talk about um, rice. Yeah, is is the is the breed. What's breed. your what's your dog breed? My dog's breed is is husky. I I saw today when I was coming back from Santa Ana, I saw a very strange mix, a breed mix. It was Pastor Alemán, okay, German Shepherd, German Shepherd, and he was mixed with uh, husky. husky. Shepherd with husky. That that's that was crazy. I mean, it was a huge dog. It was really big, <laughs> and he was like kind of brown. the The face wow. was like the face yeah, was yeah. like white, <laughs> white, yeah. and the whole body was brown and and black. Yes, like, I, what I, the hell? I know teacher that brownie is uh, another another topic, but uh, we, with my children always we are go, joking uh, talking about that because what what kind of brand is it, it is this dog? <laughs> it is they always they, they always are over there joking with me. But don't don't but, bully don't bully your dog. Come on, don't do yeah. bullying on your dog. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a okay. terrier. It's a okay. terrier. Okay, okay. It's a yeah, terrier. Yes, it's, it's a good a good name for this race. For that breed. For that breed. I'm sorry. Ana Selmi, what do you have? Um, I am the other Catubela. Alfredo. <laughs> really? I have three cats. Three cats. Only okay. ladies. <laughs> it's all ladies in that house. Oh my God. Yes. And uh, three turtles, too. Three turtles. Are they ladies, too? I don't know. I, I don't know. You don't know? know. <laughs> no. Yes. Are, are they big? Big yes, toys? They are big. So, yes, they're ladies, too. Only my husband and my son. They the only the only males on the house okay <laughs> okay I'm sorry, I'm sorry for them <laughs> yes it's true okay good uh oh lord do you have any siblings hmm don't translate don't, don't go to google translate just think about it i have five siblings i have five siblings okay i have five siblings um i have it's a new it's a new word for me for you it's new anybody <laughs> siblings yes. i have four brothers and a sister i have four brothers and a sister um and i'm i'm the youngest well i used to be <laughs> i'm used to be the youngest i have rodrigo now he's he's like 10 years old he's almost 10 years old my brother rodrigo and my sister amy she is she's two years old so i have five siblings five siblings so what's the meaning of siblings i understand uh-huh susanna i understand yeah how many siblings do you have siblings it's like brothers and sisters. Oh, I thought you said I understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's brothers and sisters. No matter if it is brothers or sisters, it's just in general. How many okay. brothers and sisters do you have? So, Floor, how many siblings do you have? Two sisters. Just that's it? I have, yes. Two sisters. Are you the youngest, the oldest, or the middle one? And the oldest or youngest yes. you're the oldest one oldest okay so one is older than you 
one is older than you? Yes. Okay, and the other one? Is young. Is younger. So younger. You, you are the middle sister. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Younger, you the oldest. Okay, that's it, very good. What about you, Rosalena? Do you have any siblings? Check, check. I have two sisters. Two sisters too? Yeah, yeah, two sisters. Okay, are you the oldest, the youngest? I'm the middle one. You're the middle too? Yeah. The middle one, oh my God, okay. That's yes. good, nobody's mm -hmm. the oldest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, all the time, all the time, I am between the, the fightings. <laughs> Tell to tell to my tell oh you're to my, between the yeah, fights between the fights yeah all the time tell to my sister that tell to oh my god oh my god are you the referee <laughs> it's so difficult <laughs> okay last question what things are you passionate about okay Wendy okay I make a very stay off but I'm here. Got it, got it, thank you. What things are you passionate about? And I'm sending that to one person only, hold on. What things are you passionate about? You know, something that I'm passionate about lately is my house. I'm always passionate about cleaning up the house because I'm here all day long, alone. I'm just like, Mariah Carey, I'm like Mariah Carey all day. I finish work at 12.30, I lay down my headsets and I go like, oh, by myself, don't wanna be, yeah, that's the way I go. I have lunch and then I start cleaning the house, you know, cleaning the house, uh, washing the dishes. And my favorite, believe it or not, my favorite home chore, my favorite home chore is washing the bathrooms. I, I like to have the bathrooms neat. Okay, do you have to have your, do you like to having uh, your bathrooms clean? Is it just me or what? Yeah, I like it, but it's not my passion. <laughs> <laughs> my passion is wash the dishes <laughs> washing the dishes is your washing passion yes i love it i like it i enjoy it <laughs> really yeah really. <laughs> really really yeah I don't, I don't know why but i i like to have the house intact you know very clean i don't know it's but it's something that i like doing okay so what are you passionate about Someone? If we if if we are talking about doing something, I'm passionate mm -hmm. to, to lay in on my bed. Uh, okay. On, uh, on, remember remember yesterday's topic. I'm passionate yeah. about. Oh yes. Lay in lay, lay on my bed. On my bed. Yeah. So especially on weekends, I, I like to to take a nap and stay in my bed. I like it, I love it. You love it, okay, you enjoy relaxing, it. Relaxing, yeah. Do you, do you have a TV in your bedroom? Yes, but uh, I it's, it's readily that I use it. I use more my phone to watch uh, some series. The TV, I it's readily that I turn on the TV because it's more, for me, it's easy to take the, the phone and, and the TV. I have to to turn on to look the, the turn, turn it on, turn, <laughs> it, on, turn yeah. it on, turn it on, and try to find something yeah. to watch. Mm -hmm. yes. I I readily readily repeat. readily readily readily. Just just think about this. Readily is a, a 
frequency adverb. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, never, mm -hmm. usually, right? I rattly right. turn on the TV, turn on the TV. Yeah. Okay, really quick. Don't forget, frequency adverbs are go before the verb. The only exception is sometimes. Sometimes I turn on the TV. I sometimes turn on the TV. I turn on the TV sometimes. You see, sometimes it's the only one that you can move around, but the others go before the verb. Okay, good. Let's hop into, yes, let's hop. Let's hop into the topic, onto the topic. And thank you for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. The fact that you're here today on Friday, instead of going around, having dates and everything, you know, or going to any restaurant, spending money that you don't have. <laughs> hey, look at the translation of that sentence. Let's hop onto the topic. Let's hop onto the topic. Let's hop on, hop onto the topic. Hop is a synonym of jump okay let's hop on to the topic pasemos al tema sounds really good okay and yes what i'm passionate about typically is teaching it all depends on the topic i like this topic i know sometimes it may seem a little bit boring but believe me it's very useful so let's move on um so why do we need training? And we were on this uh, phrases, right? So I'll continue listening to you. Uh, a volunteer who wants to read and explain briefly, who wants to read and explain briefly what this is about. What is this saying about? Let's do it shortly. It's not the goal you set. It's what you need to achieve it. It's not the goal you set. It's what you need to achieve it. So can you see the picture? Can you look at the picture? Yeah, okay. So look at the guy. What do you think is the plan? He's planning to climb that mountain, right? I think he's planning to climb the mountain. He wants to go up. Yeah, to go up, to climb the mountain. Yeah, but, but he's thinking, how can I do? What can I make? Do you think he has what he needs? No, because he, he has a skate roller. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's not a way. He needs a, a special a shoes. He needs special the, shoes. Special yes. shoes to climb the mountain. <laughs> yes, he needs boots. He needs boots. Yeah. That's right. Skates. He's wearing skates. 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 Okay. True. Next. Somebody else. Come on, guys. Cheer up. It's not where you want to go. It's knowing how to get there. It's a very similar phrase. It's not where you want to go. It's knowing how to get there. Susana? Hi. What do you think about okay. this phrase? It's not where you want to go. It's knowing how to get there. I think it's true. Okay. Why? Why? Okay. Well, um, I think this. I, I. I. I think it's important when you really know what is you. You want. You want what to go. It? Want to know everything what is it that you want in life it's important to know what is it that you want in life what is it that you want in life 
And the next is uh, how you get there. How you're going to get there. So for example, uh, you know where you want to go. You want to learn English. So do you know how to learn English? Yes, I need study, I need practice. I need, I need to pay attention in your class. And three times, okay. I need to practice. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. I need to pay attention. I need to. I need to pay attention. Uh -huh. And? I need to take more class. To take more classes to take. Don't forget, I need, I have, I want, I love to learn, to speak, to come to class. Always separate the verbs. Great job. Okay. The last one. The last one is not what you dream of doing. It's having the knowledge to do it. Again, it's not what you dream of doing. Aim to the moon. Go to the moon. It's having the knowledge to do it. Will, are you with us? Is Wilfredo with us? I think he, he, he may have left. Yep. Gabriela, what do you think? Okay. Uh, I think it's important to uh, know what we want, but also um, know uh, the ways and need that, sorry, the things that we need to get it. To get it, to achieve it, yes. But in this example, we're talking about knowledge. Do you know that word? Uh, like, um, conocimientos? Beautiful Spanish, yes. <laughs> the, the knowledge, yeah, it's okay, don't worry. How much you know about something? That's knowledge, okay? Conocimiento, great job. Okay, let's continue. So development. Uh, the definition of development is very simple. Uh, development helps the individual handle future responsibilities. We were saying that training is just learn to do something, to, to do one task. For example, <laughs> when you learned to swipe or mop the floor, when you learned to swipe or mop the floor, was that a training? or part of your development? Hmm. Swipe and mop, do you know what is that? Swipe the floor, mop the floor. We're gonna I, think that, I think that is part of the development. It's part of a training? No. No, because I remember that Nobody teach me. I only learn sing. <laughs> okay, repeat. Nobody taught me. Talk. Nobody talk. taught. Taught me. Taught me. I just. I just. I just learned. I just learned. Yes, I just learned. <laughs> okay, I just learned it. 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 Yeah, is that that that's in past? Yeah, I just learned it. Okay, good. So, on the other hand, this development is is something that will help you your whole life, um, with less emphasis on present job duties. So it's like, uh, as I told you before, how to use a computer. That's not a I mean, you can train yourself or get somebody to train you on the knowledge to use a computer, but that is a huge step for people. You know, let me give you an example. The company that I work for uh, deals with prepaid cards, you know, like debit cards that you buy at the gas station, for example, gift cards, gift cards. And in the United States, it's very common, it's very common that there are fraudsters, fraudsters stealing, um, stealing money. Okay. Fraudsters are people, mean people, mean people 
stealing money from others. That's it. So I take care. I take care of the fraudulent, fraudulent transactions. That's the name. So why am I saying this? Um, because I receive emails, let's say, from people who doesn't know how to use a computer. Elderly, elderly people. Elderly people using a computer, using the email to send me a picture of a document, a picture of their utility bill, okay? Okay, their utility bill, for example. And they don't know, they don't know how to send a picture through email. If I tell them, man, that file is too big. They go like, no, it's just a piece of paper. It's just a picture. And I go like, uh oh, it's not like that. Okay, bien, alguna palabra con esas palabras que tienen ahí en el chat, ya se fijaron? Estoy anotando palabras que creo que no todos las conocen. Ok. O sinónimos, como Gabriela decía, to reach, to obtain, to get something, to achieve. Sweep, mop, taught. The past of teach, taught. I just learned it. Frosters. Mean people. You're so mean. You're so mean. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Um, elderly. Do you know what is the meaning of elderly? Yes. No. 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 An old person. Excellent. Old people. Yeah. Or old person. An, an elderly woman. An old, elderly man. An elderly man. Elderly man. Yeah. I'm not elderly. I'm just a little bit. You write the word? Old. Yeah. It's on the chat, Susana. Ah, okay. Por eso, por eso me Ahí está en el, todo está en el chat de Zoom ahorita, de Zoom. I see. I see. I'm sorry. Okay, great, great. Emphasis on present job. So development is more focused to develop you as a person. Let's see. Why do we need training? Okay, what is the purpose of, of getting trained? Okay, and there are some basic uh, purposes of training. So let's see. Wilfredo is back. Okay, how will Fredo getting trained? will increase the productivity in your work. It is a good teacher. Uh, it is a good practice. Practice, yes. Because if you don't have enough, um, the enough training in some operation or about knowledge about um, any process, for example, if I am going to start to using a machine or working in a machine. Excuse me. <laughs> Keep going, Wilfred. Sorry. Maybe that it is la, the, the probability that you have an accident, it is going to be very, very high. High. But if you have a, according, according to the training, you have that um, a specific time to learning, to, to operate the machine or handling any, any tools, uh, the, the probability is going to reduce going to be be reduced be okay reduced. But, but, but you're you're getting stuck with um uh, prevention health and safety health and safety but uh, i'm asking you about why 
why do you think that being trained will increase the productivity? Ah, okay. But uh -huh. if you have a good training, uh -huh. you are going to have a best ability to be more productivity. More productive. Okay, if you have good training, you will have the ability to be more productive. If you have enough knowledge, you will have the ability to be more productive. Okay, productive, good job. Okay, so in other words, in other words, how does quality improve by being trained? Adriana, if you improve people, giving them trainings, how will this increase or improve the quality of the product? Repeat, teacher, please. Mm -hmm. So if you are trained, mm -hmm. how will this increase the quality of your job? Mm. Well, for example, the training for and uh, for health uh, improve quality and our ESOs or training training that very important for the best the quality of the products. Mm -hmm. to improve the quality of products. Okay. Good. Let's come out of the box. Let's come out of the box. Teacher, hey, in, in my company, we have a, a lemma. How do you say in English? A saying. We have a saying. A saying. Mm -hmm. But the customers uh, or, or my or our boxes, bosses, bosses, bosses uh -huh. says, yeah, or, or bosses. Mm -hmm. Calidad, quality mm -hmm. is when the customer come back, but the government doesn't come back. But the government doesn't come back. Yes, calidad es cuando los clientes, yeah. los clientes regresan y los, los, las prendas, no. Oh, because and customs, and custom custom. don't. Custom, custom. Don't. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because custom in, in my company, quality, it is going to, it is um, a reference, la referencia. It's a reference of what? Uh -huh. yes. uh, about warranty, unconditional warranty. Conditional warranty. Conditional warranty. Uh, warranty. Warranty. Awesome. Warranty. Yes. That's a good saying. That's a good saying. Okay. Bien, voy a tener un segundo. Eh, les decía al inicio de este curso que necesito que ustedes tengan dos perspectivas. Cada vez que les pregunto algo eh, que está dentro del contexto de, del aprendizaje como inglés para el trabajo per se, como es lo que estamos viendo ahorita, necesito que se enfoquen desde dos perspectivas, dos puntos de vista, como empleado y como empleador, les decía. Ok, so, continuemos, siempre como empleado y como empleador. Eh, usar la lógica te va a ayudar mucho en esto. Tú crees que, vaya, este ejemplo, por ejemplo, um, ¿cómo mejora el entrenamiento del personal o de una persona a mejorar la calidad. ¿En qué contribuye? Esa es la pregunta. Eh, la mejora continua, eh, recibir entrenamiento. ¿En qué contribuye a mejorar la calidad del producto o del servicio? No siempre pensemos en un producto. No somos todos industriales, ¿verdad? <ríe> También hay, hay servicios y eso es un producto al final. Entonces, ¿de qué manera impacta que tú te prepares mejor? Te pongo un ejemplo bien práctico. Okay. ¿Cuál es el producto que ofrecen los Uber? Si tú eres conductor de Uber, ¿qué producto estás ofreciendo? Okay. The yeah. service. service. You're providing a service. Yes, you're providing a transportation service. So, going back to English, okay. How does this improve uh, quality if you are trained? Let's say that you are trained I mean, as a as an Uber driver, you can be trained 
in a lot of things. Can you mention to me what could you train an Uber driver on? The service, the, uh -huh. the, the service client? No. Uh huh. It's customer service. Customer service. Sorry. People. Yes, people skills. Service. Yes. It sounds beautiful. People yes. skills. Yes. Customer yes. service. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Maybe. Uh, oh my God. Because sometimes there are uh, there are um, people in over that he likes he likes to talk so much. Maybe, Too much. Uh -huh. Yeah, and maybe uh, something how to learn how, how to how to speak how to how, oh my god how to talk to people. Yeah, how to talk to people. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> true that is true okay what else okay what could you train an uber driver on floor and sell me gabriela picture it picture it imaginatelo picture it picture it mariana come on You are an Uber driver. Now, how do you, how, I mean, there are so many perspectives. You can think as a client, if you have ever used Uber, what would you have expected? What have you expected about this Uber driver? For him to be more polite, to have more people skills? Mm, be in more my case, teacher, uh -huh, Anna. my is expectative about the service mm -hmm. in Uber are uh, number one, the driver to be, no, must be, must be honest. Oh, to be honest. Um, yes. To be an honest person. Okay. Uh, sometimes the appearance the personal appearance is important oh yes, yes their presentation because, yeah the person because sometimes you look the picture and you say what <laughs> i don't like it <laughs> no, yeah. thanks. So, no thanks yeah, no thanks i don't think so no thanks <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh, okay the other uh, the driver um, must be responsible with responsible you. yeah okay let's talk yeah. about a few things that a newer driver may need um they may need knowledge about mm -hmm. mechanics do you think why is it important for a newer driver to know about mechanics because if the car stops no. Can, can you imagine can you imagine an uber driver and you go on the back and suddenly <laughs> and suddenly the car starts moving all around right and you go like oh my god there's something wrong with your car what's wrong with your car oh no nothing don't worry it's not it's normal it's normal right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and suddenly do you smell that? Can you feel? <laughs> it's like fuel. It smells like gasoline. We're on fire. <laughs> oh That's crazy. No. Okay. So they need to know about mechanics, right? That, that would be a also, plus. Also, he needs to be a good driver. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's important um... to be a, a good driver because sometimes there are many crazy drivers. <laughs> yes. Yes, I I I travel once with with a I say he's crazy. He's a crazy a, a crazy, crazy driver. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> they need no they need to know, know the street. They yeah. need to know the streets. Okay. I think they need be more quickly sometimes and when they know where is a place is more slowly 
Mm -hmm. Okay, how not to be, how not to be a reckless driver. How not to be a reckless driver. It's very important. And this is a training that many buceros need, right? Many bus drivers in El Salvador need this kind of training. How not to be a reckless driver. Okay, I was thinking about mechanics, customer service. What about technology? How to use the GPS? Oh my God. I believe, teacher, um, this time in the, all activities is necessary the use of the technology. Yes, yes, or many examples. Uh, no, please go ahead, Susana. You can do it. You can always participate. Troubleshoot, another word. Do you think it's necessary for Uber drivers to know how to troubleshoot the cell phone? How to troubleshoot their car, for example? Okay, Susana, tell us. I don't know what is troubleshoot. I don't know what is reckless. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. And I have the doubt. Uh huh. Okay. Reckless driver is un conductor imprudente. A reckless driver. He goes like. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's too much. Oh. When when a driver another word when a driver's speeding up. When a driver is speeding up, he's like fast and furious. I got it. You got it? Yeah. What about troubleshoot? Do you troubleshoot your cell phone? No, I don't know what is troubleshoot. Trouble is problem. Uh-huh. So like a... you're yeah. shooting. You're shooting. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So do you know what? My cell phone is stuck. My cell phone is stuck. It doesn't react. Oh, I fixed it. Never mind. But maybe if I turn it off, I'm going to turn off the cell phone and then turn it back on. Oh, I fixed it, it's working. That's troubleshooting. To try multiple solutions, ideas, to resolve a problem, especially a technical problem. Okay? That is troubleshooting, to solve problems, okay? So moving on, guys. When you get trained, this helps a company to fulfill its future personal needs. Now, this is very important. And many, many companies around the world, not just in El Salvador, but many companies don't care about this. Let's be honest. You are in this company and I will train you on things that will you will need in this company. You are not going to that English academy. You don't need English. Nobody speaks English in this company. Why do you want to learn English? Oh, you want to go to a call center, right? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Does that ring any bell? Full feet. <laughs> Does that ring any bell? Esa es la manera más natural para un americano de decir, ¿te suena algo? Does that ring any bell? Uh -huh. ¿Te suena algo? ¿Te suena? Esa es la palabra. ¿Te suena? Uh -huh. Does that ring any bell? Ok, Wilfredo. Teacher. Yep. When, when we talk about troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, uh -huh. yeah, um, This word, we can use it to any, any or, or to solve. Any any problem problem? Technical problems. Technical problem because I remember in my company many years ago, um a department start to work in that about troubleshooting, but I'm talking about, for example, not only my 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 company, but I guess 
that when some people give some service and they have some trouble, they have to, to have a, a guideline. Uh, a guideline, very guide. good. Yes. Guideline. To solve, to solve, to solve it. To solve the problem, to solve the problem yes. step by step. Yes, yes. Then mm -hmm. we can use, use these phrases to... Okay, uh, let's solve, let's find a solution. Find a solution may not be hands on the job. Hands on the job, that's not hands on the job. Th find a solution, okay. Come on guys, let's find a solution together. Let's brainstorm a solution for this problem. No, okay, let's troubleshoot. Let's do step one, step two. Oh, it's fixed. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Step three, step four. Okay, it's fixed. No, and that's it. You go guidelines. Yes, very good. Okay. Step by step. And cuando trabajaba en Dell. It's a process, yes. Yo, yo soy técnico de las computadoras Dell. Man, y yo le ayudaba a, a, in, a técnicos internos de compañías de pequeños negocios. Claro, en Estados Unidos una compañía pequeña o mediano negocio, una pyme, es un monstruo comparado a las de acá, ¿verdad? Si me explico, y me hablaban los de, los de IT, me decían, mira, se me arruinó un disco duro. Y, como quien dice, mandame uno nuevo, ¿verdad? por la garantía. Venía yo y empezaba, ok, did you try this? Yes, I did. Did you try this? Yes, I did. Did you try this? Oh, no, let me try it. Okay, oh, you know what? It's working. It's working fine. And that's it. You see? So, yeah, you have to, you need to have a list of troubleshoot. So, yeah. Um, and let's see. So, there are different ways to improve the development of personal through trainings. Now, there's the last two are very important. Do you remember we were talking about El Seguro Social, right? So this has to do with that of solicence prevention. <laughs> if you don't want to become obsolete, get some knowledge because computers are being improved and if you haven't watched Charlie and la, Char la Fabrica de Chocolate that's reality eventually we will not need humans in factories that's a reality okay so don't become obsolete instead of that prevent learn because that's going to give you personal growth personal growth I am prepared for this. I have the knowledge, boss. I know how to operate the computers. Okay. Makes sense, right? Okay. And these are the benefits of, of trainings. Let me read this really quick. How training benefits the organization in general, not just the employee. It leads to improved profitability. 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 Repeat. Profitability. So next time your boss tells you, hey, profitability. <laughs> yes. Hey, financial terms, financial terms. And that's telling me. Yes, profitability. Profitability. Organization. 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 Shin. Very good. Organization. That's right. Remember the shin, profession, what else? Education, vacation, okay, organization. Okay, and or more positive attitude towards profit orientation. So profit, profitability. Profit, what do you think is, this has to do with money. What's the meaning of these words, Anna Sammy? The the mean teacher mm -hmm. mm, gains profitability. Oh. So profitability, 
It's just, yeah, gains. Gains, gains. or the positive results in the operation. That's right, earnings. Earnings, yeah. Is that, is it, that's like liquid money, right? After taxes, I think. The profit is yes. after taxes, after, after taxes. Okay, so let's continue. Improves the job knowledge and skills at all levels of the organization. So when you train your personnel, let me give you an example. If you train the whole company on people's skills, <laughs> man, the whole organization is prepared because uh, from the lowest levels to the highest levels, all the clients will expect the same treatment. Do you think that El Seguro Social has this, like mm, people skills, nurses, the people in the uh, archive, you know, the people working on the archive, the ones that give you the appointments for six months or a year? They go like, ¿Qué quiere? Well, okay, instead of, buenos días, Doña Rosa, ¿qué tal? ¿En qué le ayudo? Man, that's different, right? Oh my God. Una vecina mía tiene una tienda y siempre que voy ahí, yo estaba mayor a la señora. Y ella sí es así, ya es así. Yo al principio pensé que era enojada la señora, pero no. ¿Qué quiere? Me dice. Yo, bueno, like, okay. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. So, this is very important. Being trained improves the morale, the morale, morale of the workforce. Don't you, don't you feel better when they teach you and teach you and teach you everything, right? It, it feels like, man, they really care. No, they don't care. They just want more money and they want to make sure. I feel you... important. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they want to make sure that you, yes. do, you do your job. To as explode, so... explode me. <laughs> explode. They explode. They want to explode you. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> squeeze me. <laughs> they want to squeeze you. That's right. Okay. Now, being trained helps people identify with organizational goals. Um... Let me think, let me see, yes. In my case, in the call center that I work for, you know what? I hate scammers. Ever, ever since I work for this call center and because of what I do, I hate scammers. What are scammers? Thieves. Thieves, identity, identity thefts, identity thieves, you know, because they are guilty for identity theft in, in, in the United States. That's a very common issue. Ya han escuchado de cuando alguien dice, me robaron la identidad, right? That's the way you say it. As you say, it's identity theft, identity theft. I don't need that. Not easy. Okay. So scammers are these guys who call you and they go like, hello, Rosa, you won an airline ticket. Just send me $3,000 and I will send you eight tickets for your whole family around the world. Yeah, send me the money. <laughs> you send the money. <laughs> That's not funny. They steal money from people. Okay. So. I feel identified with my organization because we want to stop crime. So I identify myself with the purpose, the purpose of my organization, the goal of my organization, okay? And lastly, and lastly, it helps create a better corporate image. And again, if all the employees are trained, let me give you a clear example, Apple. Would you like to work at Apple? Yeah, I right? guess. I guess. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No. Would you like to work at Google? Yes. Have I you will. seen? Have you seen the corporate Amazon. offices? Have you ever seen? I see. 
the corporate. I see videos. I see videos, and and I see is is good. It's nice. I would like to work in Amazon. No, I think you would like to work at Google. Google. Hmm. Google <laughs> offices. Google offices are just insane. We're we're gonna watch that video one of these days. I'll get and get it ready for you. It's just amazing. I mean, they have cafeterias. They have like five cafeterias. They have laundromats. They have laundry rooms, you know, where you can go, do the laundry, go to the gym. They have a spa. Oh my God. Really? They, okay, they, I, yeah, I, I they like give you, <laughs> they give you an electric car. They give yeah. you an electric car okay. so you, so you can do your errands. You can do your errand. This is spacious. It's very color. I'll I'll send you the video so you can watch it later. It's just when I saw that video like many years ago, that was amazing. I mean, it's called the Google Complex. Anyways, guys, let's do the attendance before we continue. If you have any questions about the vocabulary that I have shared here in the chat of Zoom, I just have a question know. with a word. Uh huh. In the presentation, you, you write organization with S, and for me is with C. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And I have a doubt with yes. Really? It's with C. In two Z. words. Uh -huh. Thank you. Help me because I didn't read that. Uh, I thought you were, I thought you were referring to the um, spelling. No, it's S and C. Okay, they're, they're writing then. I'll check it. The writing of organization. Organization. Yes, it's with a Z. Z. Organization. Thank you. Ya van dos, Susana. Come on, Susana. I need okay. practice. I need practice. Yeah, thank you. And me too. Okay. Okay to cut in so let's do the attendance really quick Ada Patricia Linares Galdames not here today Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores present thank you Ana Sermi Chévez present teacher thank you Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo Today, Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte, Gabriel Ignacio Lara, Gabriela Alejandra González Flores, present, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames, she is still there, Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Hey, good. Ofelia Orellana yeah. Arce. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She's there. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Yep. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. All right, so Stephanie somewhere. No. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's keep it going. Present, present. <laughs> Thank you, Gloria. I know. I know, guys. Okay, so let's continue. Almost done, sorry. Tonight we're talking about the benefits, but we are also in need of doing this by ourselves, designing a structured request. 
Rosa Elena, how was your experience when asking for training in your job? Can you tell us a little bit what happened? How was my experience? Yeah, when you told your boss, oh, you know yeah. what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned my, my, how do you say inquietude? <laughs> my inquiry. What? My inquiry. Ah, Inqui inquiry. Inquiry. Okay. I mentioned my teacher is right. My doubt, my inquiry. Ah, yeah. Okay. I mentioned my doubt about uh, um, why we don't have um, trainings, uh, more trainings. And he 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 tell me he tell me told uh, he told me he told me that he was working with the human resources about it mm -hmm. and he sent he sent he sent to to the human resources uh, some 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 trainings that uh, we can take maybe the next year uh, but the the conversation finish finish in in that no he doesn't no yes he don't he don't asegura he didn't assure me anything okay uh -huh. he didn't assure me anything but mm -hmm. he he makes the the proposal to to the human resources mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last no this year this year I have one training. It was a uh, two um, five five weekends five Saturdays mm -hmm. about one month. Eh? Yeah, I have one one training about uh, a inventory administration. It was very it was very very nice, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it about? Inventory administration. Okay, minimums and maximums. Stock. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. stock. Uh, stock how of to... inventory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we were I love that. About... I used yeah, to love it was, that. It was very interesting. How to it... how to uh, handle the the merchandise. Uh huh. Did they mm -hmm. did they teach you how to use a cardex? Or do you no. know? Do you know yes. what is a cardex? Yes, yes. I don't it's like a... cardex. I never. No, I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't we like have, cardex. We have cardex at work, but uh, sometimes we forget it about it. But we have, we have. How do you say features? <laughs> yeah, the little. Uh, yeah. Cards, you know. Yeah, the little cards. cards. Yeah, yeah. We have cards of cardex. <laughs> But no, but you can do you can do yourselves on Excel sheets. Oh yeah, Excel yes, on Excel, uh -huh. yes. But here we 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 use these cards, but uh, eventually uh, we forget it. <laughs> but they are important. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Rosalina. Mm -hmm. okay. So there are, we need to move on and with the class, just finish a little bit briefly this presentation. I'll send you this presentation. It's not mine. It talks about the benefits of training, you know, and some negative parts as well. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so before I move on with the presentation, I have, yeah, I'm going to let you go on groups, but before, antes de, de separarlos, y quiero ser bien enfático en esto, necesito saber, necesitamos todos saber esto. Eh, Quienes van a participar, o sea, lo voy a dividir en grupos, pero necesito saber 
quienes sí van a poder participar, porque veo más de la mitad de la clase con la cámara apagada. Y pues es, eh, me preocupa que al dividirlos no puedan um, contar con su participación los compañeros quienes están con las cámaras apagadas. Entonces, si me pueden poner un emoji en, en su pantalla eh, o encender su cámara, haciéndome saber nada más que si van a participar para decidir cómo voy a dividir los grupos. Sandra Walter, ok. Sandra Gloria. Ajá, ok, ok. Sí, la mayoría, la mayoría. Sí, hay compañeros que han, se han conectado porque están trabajando y pues, ni modo, así es la, así es la vida, eso es, así toca, no se preocupen. Muchas gracias, ok. Good. No, no problem. So, we're 16, we're 15, bye. Vamos a hacer algo, voy a dividir la clase en three groups, three groups of five. That's it. Just three small groups of five. The only thing that I need you to do, if you were to request a training, what will it be about? And will you do it? So I need you to think in macro, not micro, you know? Think macro, don't think um, small, think big. Why am I telling you this? Because I need you to answer these two questions. On your Zoom chat, you have the questions. What is the process or what's the process if there is such, you know, if there is such a process in your company um, to request training in which departments are involved? Okay. What's the process in, if there is such in your company to request training in which departments are involved? The second question, if you were to request a training, what will it be about and how will you do it? So in groups, just answer these two questions. If everybody in the group is like, you know what? Um, I'm just a sale, a salesman or a woman. Okay, I'm just a salesperson. We don't have any trainings never they just give me the product and i sell it and i make profit out of the sales so okay what do we do in that case gabriela what do we do if nobody has trainings or never been on a training and um, i think that any person need a training no matter in the position that they have so, they need training excellent so you make it up you make it up nunca me van a escuchar decir esto no voy a decir invent it no it's make it up okay <laughs> come on guys invent it i don't i'm sorry Qué crítico, pero es que no me gustan los chicos que van que, okay, good guys, let's go in teams, okay, let's, no, come on, I'm not going to do that to you guys, pero sí, espero que participen todos como vos, Rosalina, okay, so let's go in teams, vamos a, a contestar esas dos preguntas nada más, okay, it's very, it's key, this is very important, so si todos en el grupo están como que, uy, man, yo nunca he estado en training, no sé qué vamos a hacer, este maestro Panzón está loco, ¿no? ¿cómo vamos a hacer eso? Ni me han visto la panza, pero bueno. Anyways, ok. So... <risa> vamos a ver. ¿Sí se entendió? ¿Questions? ¿No? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Sí hay questions? ¿Sí? ¿Por qué me dicen que sí? No. Ok. <risa> Good. Let's go in teams. <risa> Just answer the questions. Y si nadie ha estado, pues invéntense lo que le gustaría. ¿Ya? ¿Cómo le gustaría que fuese eso? Let's do it.
is Morning. there is SOC in your company to request training in which department are involved? What process? Uh, in my company, the process is. Um, Sorry, guys. I'm uh, going. I'm gonna get some water. Okay. I'm gonna get some okay. water. Okay. Continue, Adriana. Okay. Uh, uh, I going. Uh, what? And the first. No. The first step is. Um, um, your boss? Yes, so Liz. Sí. Human resource? No. Um, how do you say solicitar? Bueno. Or oh, authorized uh, with my boss that, that training. Your and... boss made the requirement. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. that, that requirement and. Um... And give boss... to the and give it to him as a soul. And my boss or or the boss or and the of the area and the same email with a human resource and the human resource is um is is responsible or is yeah. is responsible that that um that the process um <laughs> my cat <laughs> the process uh, for uh, subscribe in the training uh, to personal um, and um, maybe the process, you know, more or less the process. It's similar in work because um, the the area needs needs uh, training, um, search where is the best option for his people. And human resource only make the the tramit. But if the the person make the requirement, he choose or select where the best option. And the next human resource verify um with budget, the um, disponibility for money. If you have a disponib disponibility for paid the service. Availability. Availability. Availability to pay the services. Availability, okay, thank you. For pay the service. Uh, in resume, have a four part for the permit. For example, uh, two weeks ago, there was, a, a, um, oh my God, a, a supplier uh, sent us an invitation to a web webinar about uh, Octi, Octi, Fibra Optica, <laughs> Octi, Fiber, 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 fiber optic, fiber. Yeah. fiber optic, yes. <laughs> he was sent us an uh, invitation uh, to participate in a webinar about fiber optic, and the mm -hmm. manager, the manager, sent us a, an email and tell us uh, everybody is is welcome to the webinar. If you want to join, okay, it doesn't matter. Join to the to the webinar. It was it was it was the the only way that you can participate in a training, but in the other case, uh, human resources need to need to approve the, the training. Okay. And you, Gabriela? Yes. Uh, in my job, 
I work in logistics. So uh, my boss always send like you uh, webinars or some uh, um, cap capacitaciones mm -hmm. related to incoterms, commercial trade, or different laws, for example, uh, to handle danger, dangerous goods because this is a delicate process. So uh, we only ask to your boss uh, that we are interested in some process or in some um, topics. And usually they are agreed that we uh, get more knowledge. Those, those courses are online? Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are those processes are... online? Okay. Uh -huh. And, a ver, Gabriela, um, repeat. Lo. 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 L -O. Uh -huh. Lo. That's Lo. it. Los. Plural? Los. Los. Yeah. So, lo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. There we go. Lo. Los. Lo. Los. Lo. Los. Los. No, no mires la letra. Lo. 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 Los. That's it. Lo. Los. Lo. Lo. The can okay. The series love and order. There's a no 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 love and order. No love. Uh uh. No lo 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 the law and order. The law and order. Yeah. The law. No okay. Law and order. Law and order. Law. 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 Only law. Yeah. Law like that. Law and order. Uh huh. Okay. And the plural will be laws. Uh huh. Laws. Yeah. Okay. I love laws. I study laws. Yeah. I study law. Yeah. I study law. law. Okay. Uh, it's a del del delicate. I'm sorry. It's a delicate process. It's a delicate. It's a fragile process. No. It's a delicate process. Delicate. Delicate. Mm. It's a delicate process. That's the way. It's a delicate process. There's no past word adjective. It's a delicate process. Delicate. No, it's a delicate process. Delicate. Oh. Usually, and uh, 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 usually they are agree. Uh, usually they agree. They agree. No, are. Uh -huh. Usually they agree. Usually they disagree. Usually they agree. Usually they disagree. Okay, keep going. Um, we're almost done. They are very, very strict because the, the plan is a requirement for, for our development in the company. Each year, we have the specific training plan. And okay. yes, in the second, if I want to have the specific training, for example, English, in this case, with the English throw in support, um, I ask um, to, I ask, not only I call with the human resources department and I explained the reason the, the, why uh, I need the, the training. Um, and the human resource, resources uh, complete the process for my register. Register. It's right. Register. Or inscription. What is the right teacher? Register. I'm sorry. Um... 
register for what? Oh, inscription is right in English. No, no. register. When you yes? sub subscribe to something? Yes, for example, in the training uh, throw in Safar. Mm -hmm. No, it's registered, yes. You need to register for the training. You need register. to. Yep. Yes, throw the human resources. The yeah. human resources complete the process. Mm -hmm. That is. <laughs> That's it? That's it? That's it, teacher. That's it. I just, okay. <laughs> That's really good. So if you're ready, let's continue then. We have completed the participation too. Okay, let's go. Let's just wait for your classmates. Okay, I think you're ready. So really quick, who wants to share their answers? Let's just do questions so first. We only speak, we don't make a presentation. No, 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 just tell me, what do you think about the questions? What did you say? Now, we need to practice reported speech. For example, oh, you know what? In my group, I was with Marielena, Carmen, Alejandro, and Wilfredo. And, and we said that uh, there is no process in, in our companies. Um, so, um, but we requested training last week and, 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 and he got fired. And so, <laughs> I don't know whatever you want to say. Report, report what everybody said, okay? Go ahead. Start teacher. Okay. 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 I work with Flor, with Wilfredo, Ophelia, and Adriana. We are agree with the first question. It's human resource, the department uh, a charge for this process. Uh, we have different when, when intervention, the other department. But in the five, the five person is human resource. And the second question, we are agreed to, we need more training in Excel, Excel in English. That's all. That's it, okay. That's it. Somebody else from the group, do we all agree? Okay, really quick, uh, Susana, but agree. Uh, Uh, we are agree. 
Decíamos ayer, we agree. Y sí, se puede conjugar ese verbo en pasado. We agreed. We agreed. O we agree. Positivo, digo presente. We agree that... Da, da, da. We disagree. Si es negativo, no nos pusimos de acuerdo. We disagree. Ok. No estamos de acuerdo. We I feel nervous, teacher. It's for... No, relax. Solo puedo ver su frente, no se preocupe. It's ok. <laughs> Susana, I can only see your face. <laughs> ok, let's continue. Come on, Susana. Next. The department in charge of the process. The department in charge of this process. Ajá, y corregía. The department decía a charge, decía usted, a charge of this process. Es the department in charge of this process. But in the five persons. But, ah, oígame, Susana. But the five of us. Ojo, chicos. But the five of us. Agreed. Así es. But the five of us agreed that we need training. The five of us agreed we need training on ta -da -da. No entiendo su ejemplo por algo. Dígame. Uh -huh. Porque yo, pues lo voy a decir en español. Es yep. más fácil. Ok. Contesté la primera pregunta y me fui a la segunda y dije que in the second questions we are agree to I don't use but. And oh, okay. say, I say but. I don't say that. No dijo Me but. Me equivoqué, okay. pero no es iba. <laughs> ok. Ok, perfecto. In the five persons. Ok. Pero sí, la mejor manera de haber dicho eso es que si sí, quería decir los cinco de nosotros o los cinco del grupo uh -huh. o las cinco personas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Acordamos o con, ¿cómo sería? Eh, quería usar la palabra coincidimos y Ajá. quería usar la palabra este también verificamos. En el momento no la, no la pude recordar. Súper bien, vamos corrigiendo eso, no se preocupe, ese es el punto de esta clase. So, we agreed. Ajá. Bien, y así sería: The five of us agreed, si no quiero decir but, ok. The five of us agreed. Eso es importante, usar frases introductorias, Susana. In the end, al final, ok. In the end, the five of us agreed that we need training on da da da. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Okie dokie, next. Gabriela, Gloria, Carla, Nelson, and Roselena. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Hey. Se, sería de cinco personas o five people. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Si quiero usar people o personas sería. But five people. People. Uh -huh. But the five people agreed. Uh -huh. Sí, porque es el plural. Okay. Very good, very good. But the five people agree. Okay. Come on, come on. So is there a process to follow to request training, guys, in your company? Okay, nobody wants to speak. Let yeah, me the, teacher, the process, okay. We were talking with Carla, Gabriela, um, Nelson, and I. And for example, in, uh, Carla mentioned that uh, he she doesn't uh, needs authorization because all the trainings are about are in in the in the in the in, 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 internet internet yes because it's a platform, platform. that e learning e learning uh, they mm -hmm. they don't need authorization they only go to the platform and, uh, look the the training that everybody wants and well, that's it mm -hmm. okay look for look for look at look okay look okay we look, look for the information online they look for the information online 
And then she looked at it. And then she looked at me. I look at the tree. Siempre una preposición después de look. Mayor parte de veces. Okay. Look at me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's, did you... that's, that's the case of Carla. In my that's, case. That's Carla's case. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's Carla's case. Mm -hmm. In my case, um, uh, we need an authorization uh, for the human resources. Mm -hmm. uh, the boss or the manager needs to justify uh, the reason that he needs the training in another in another way they doesn't uh, approve otherwise oh otherwise otherwise they don't approve it yeah they don't approve it mm -hmm. they need they need the they need to justify the yeah, justify. Perfect. Yeah, and yeah. it's justify the reason why we're taking the training. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah. they want to prove it. Yeah. Okay. Did you agree on any need of training that you have in the group? No. Uh, in the second question, we, d we don't, we don't, uh, we don't focus. You didn't, you didn't, didn't focus on that yeah. question. Uh, yeah. You didn't we discuss were, uh, that yeah. question. Uh, no, no. For example, I only mentioned that uh, if the thing when when uh, the company arrives new products uh, like uh -huh. cameras, new when new products ah uh, when new products arrive to the company, yeah, <laughs> uh, the technicians immediately immediately the the manager of the, of the technicians uh, prepare a training to to let it know uh, let us the, let us. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to let us know, uh, the the new product. It's about cameras or switches or or a new brand. Mm -hmm. and no. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, because uh, sometimes we 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 buy new brands to prove it to introduce Test in it. the market. Yeah. Yeah, to introduce in the market and and they we are I am talking about the technician, no no me. They need to know how they how the products uh, um, work. Work, yeah. Excellent. Thank you yeah. very much. Okay. Okay, and the last team. It was just your general thoughts, guy, about this guys about these questions. Let me see. The last team is composed by Anna Selmi. Pamela, Sandra, and Walter. Walter, where's Walter? I don't hear Walter very often. We don't hear Walter very often. Can we teach you? Okay, what did you do in your team? Will you tell us, share your ideas? What were the answers on your team? Okay. In my opinion on the question, number one, uh, uh, tell, tell me. In the company and where I work, and is the process is a human resource and implement in this type of training, and where there is a grid and deficiency in the different department, for example, a quality of papers occurring in the production light. And my company, excuse me, and the company uh, are many peoples. It's very conflict uh, at date. Uh, how do you say manage? How they manage? What do you manage? Mm -hmm. It's very complicated. How many things, teacher? And the second, and the second question, and uh, for me, is will be to the preparing myself in the graphic designs. 
I had the little and long lens in the programs, and which I would use them in the embroidery in the program. It will be greater to work in all those areas. Well, all these areas. And okay. Yes. Finish. <laughs> okay, great job. <laughs> great job. <laughs> Good you. job, Walter. Um, so let's correct a few things here. Let's see. Um, so in the process is uh, HR. Necesitamos terminar la idea. In the process. Okay. In the process, human resource. So uh, ahí sería al revés. Human resources. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, quizás is in charge. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, Wendy, HR is in charge of trainings, for example. Okay, um, there are many people. There are, there's, ma there's many people. No, there's much people. Como un grupo como tal. There's much people. Hay muchas personas, no sé cuántas. There's much people. Okay, thank you. There are many persons, también se puede. There are many persons, porque las puedo contar en ese sentido. There are many persons. There si lo puedo, o sea, recordando esa parte, si yo voy a pluralizar un objeto, eh, pues ocupo are many, puedo contarlos. Yes. Si okay. hablo de algo incontable, un grupo de personas o un grupo de objetos que van dentro de un conjunto único. Um, there are many. There are, there are much. much. Okay. There are much. No, there is. There is much. Is back on much. Are back on many. No, no. Okay. Are back on there many. Is, is back on much. There's much people. There's much air. Air. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. There is much students. Mm, no, porque lo puedo pluralizar. Tendría que ser. There are many students. There's much people. Okay. Let's move on. Um, y la, la palabra complicado, complicated. Complicado. Uh, complicated. Complicated. Ajá. Yo en segundo grado odiaba la R. No podía pronunciar la R. No sé por qué es uno de los pocos recuerdos que tengo de mi infancia. Complicated. Complicated. Compli a ver, Kated. Ahí está la pronunciación en español. Complicated. Complicated. No, eso es español. Complica yes. complicated. 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 Y lo que sea mayúscula le, le hago énfasis. A ver, Walter. Complicated. Perfect. There you go. Complicated. It's complicated. Okay. It's complicated. Ok. Cuando uno no quiere decir, dice si es soltero o casado. It's complicated, dicen. Ok. Good, guys. Ok. We're almost done. We're almost done. Let's move on with the presentation. So, understanding that there are procedures to follow. In every company, there are always procedures, right? So, let's see if I can just close the controls. Teacher, okay. Could you please repeat uh, how do you pronounce this this word? Procedures. Uh -huh. Procedures. Procedures. Okay. Procedures. Procedures. Thank you. Esa u es bien suave, Will. Procedures, procedures, procedures. What, what's the procedure? What's the procedure? What are the procedures? Procedures. Procedures. Mm -hmm. Jurors, jurors. Procedures. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, moving on. I'm trying to give you the best view 
possible of this presentation, but the controls are not helping me and I cannot move them to the left. Okay, so anyways, identifying training needs. Uh, the first thing we have to do is to identify what we need. Now, you have to be very realistic, <laughs> okay? If you work for a manufacturing company, let's say they manufacture pants, you know, trousers, shirts, whatever, you cannot request a training for Excel, right? If you are an operator, will you? Maybe, right? Maybe. If you want to grow inside the company, let's think. So it has to be something that you need, whether it is for your present performance, okay? Look at the chart, you have a job, okay? Do you need something for your job, okay? To accomplish a goal about your present performance or to reach your desired performance. The point is that you need to fill out the gap. Do you understand this word? Me gusta esa marca de pantalón. No, it's a word. What's the meaning of a gap? There's a difference in between one point, the other point. Uh -huh. The space. The space, Ana Selmi. Right? The space in between the, ah, yes. the space, the, the between. space between two spaces is like yes. e emptiness emptiness okay it's empty yeah. so there's a listen there's a knowledge gap do you have any knowledge gap so you need a training yeah it's simple okay Okay, the genera generational gap. We will talk about that in the unit three or four, I think, of this module. The generational gap. Yeah, it's an emptiness. Okay, so look at this. Pay attention to this chart flow. This chart flow is, is very explicit. After understanding the needs that you have and why, why you need a training, uh, you need to set the objectives and a policy, a policy uh, based on the, the policy of the company. And then design a training programming. Oh, programming, programming. Design a training programming. So what is designing the, the training programming? What are you going to learn in that training? From the perspective of a trainer, what are you going to teach? From the perspective of the employee or the learner, what are you going to learn? What do you want to learn? And then you put hands on the job, hands on the job. You conduct the training. If you are the trainer, you conduct the trainer training or you receive the training if you're the employee. Now, something very important is follow up and the evaluation, the evaluation of the participants, as you may have noticed in, in this case, in English Corporativo, in this course, um, English para el Trabajo, you follow this, this route. Back in 2012, okay, I'm gonna write some things here. Let's see, 2012, El Salvador, determines that we need more English speakers. Okay, we need more English speakers in El Salvador. Whoever was the president in 2012. So then, um, USAID, USAID gives the money to INSAFORP, okay? in 2013, let's say, okay? 2013, USAID gave the money to INSAFORP. And then in 2014, 20, at the end of 2013, okay? 2013, 2014, INSAFORP sets the goals, the training objectives, and what 
is what was going to be the policy to receive students for the National English for Work program, this course. And they designed the books. They designed the books. Okay. And they also hired, they hired teachers in 2014. They trained their certified teachers like me to conduct the training. And ever since, I hope you're paying attention, ever since 2014, we are conducting the training of National English for Work, okay? The follow-up and evaluation is something constant in these courses. Uh, InSAFORP is always evaluating or, or development how we how we teach these classes online now, okay? Now, this is very important because here you set the goal, when you set a goal on a training and at the end, you need to follow up and evaluate. Why do we need to evaluate any, any course, any program, any training? Why do we need to evaluate? Wilfredo? Excuse me. If you have a project and you reach the point of um, of conducting the training, you finish the, the project, I'm sorry, you finish the project, do you need to evaluate? Yes, of course. Why? Because I need to I need to make an evaluation about all process from the start to the finish. And then if I need a proof some between start and the finish, some process, I need to ask for help to any department that can help me. You need to evaluate the results. So you evaluate the results. Yes. Yeah. There are different types of evaluations. Guys, thank you, Wilfredo. Uh, you, you can evaluate right in the middle, the progress, the progress of the training. See if the people is understanding. Okay, sure. okay. Teacher, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, what is the difference between resolve and solve? Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. Um, when you resolve something, you are given a definite solution. A definite solution. When you resolve something, there is no other way around. This is the resolution. I'm resolving the case. I resolve cases every day. But when you solve a problem, you're given a, one of the options, let's say. You're solving the problem, but that's not or may not be the definite solution. Puede que no sea la, la solución definitiva, pero esa es la, es una, una es la solución y la otra es la resolución. De nuevo, solución oh, yes. es una opción que tú has dado o la más conveniente para ti o para el cliente, como sea, o para la situación. La resolución es algo definitivo. Um, okay. It resolved. Okay. Makes sense, right? Um, yes. Thank you. Uh, okay, te dejo pensando. Oh, uh, mi, mira, uh, no, 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 el mismo caso. Fix and repair. <laughs> Did you? Uh, I, I, I guess, um, for example, a mechanic, if you mm -hmm. go to the, uh, the repair shop, uh, you can talk to the mechanic, uh, I, I have this problem, but he's going, maybe he's going to help you a little solution to, for example, if you need to go to your house, mm. but you need to come back for more help because you need to, uh, uh, for example, uh, resolve. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's the same, but fix. Se me, se me rompió el radiador. Le voy a poner un chicle. It is a solve. No, that's fix. Eso fix. es, ajá, arreglar. Oí la palabra. Yes. Arreglar. Le puse chicle a la, a, la, a la manguera del radiador. Va. Llego a la casa. Ahora bien, al llegar a la casa la voy a reparar. Voy a agarrar una parte y la voy a reponer. Reparar. Ah, okay. It's funny, right? It's very useful. Okay, so fix and repair. Let's move on, guys. Questions, questions. The point is, you have to learn to follow a specific guidelines, a specific 
a set of steps to request training, to create a training. Tomorrow we're gonna see some types of training. We have induction, which you all of you went to induction or orientation training sometime. Every time you go into a new job, <laughs> induction. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let me show you around. Let me show you the company, your place of work and everything. And we're gonna see, we're gonna talk about job training, internship training and refreshers, training for promotion. This is very interesting actually, this is part of it. So I'll send you the presentation later as well so you can study it. And we will continue on Monday with this beautiful topic. Okay. Muchas gracias por estar conmigo esta noche. Yo sé que fue un gran sacrificio. Sé que, sé que fue un gran sacrificio que estar acá. Salud. Es viernes. Y el cuerpo lo sabe, pero los felicito por ser tan cumplido. Ha pasado tan callada Roselena que se enciende el micrófono. ¿De qué dice? Vamos. Por eso yo no le miro la cara a Nelson también. Solo miro que está bien contento. Nelson, <laughs> the Windows guy. Okay. I was It's... so boring today. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, no, no, quack, no. Quack, quack. no, no. Okay, I okay. I enjoy, I enjoy. <laughs> no, teacher. Sí, aquí porque sí. no me dejan, pero usualmente tenía un grupo de jóvenes. Una vez llegué con títeres. No, no se veía mi cara, sino que las manos y empecé, les empecé a hacer voces cuando abrí la clase porque era una clase a las 3 de la tarde y eran como 30 bichos, Dios mío ¿qué hacía? una vez me puse una película una peluca verde y así, pero a veces toca, ah Nelson no, that's a the, the the PC personal, I had the problem because I connected later Uh, oh. Connected with, with, with the, the the company the the, the world mm -hmm. in the in the at the moment check the 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 the, <laughs> the laptop mm. the personal the yes. personal laptop okay fine whatever works whatever works but you need to be here thank you thank you okay guys I'm staying with floor tonight let's go with the attendance and good night Ada Patricia Linares Galdames sick. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Okay. Ana Selmi Chévez. Nelson teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. And there she is. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ophelia Reyna Arce. Teacher. Good teacher. Good night. <laughs> Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Good night. Good night. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, my internet survivor. <laughs> okay. Good night, Wendy. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher, good night. Good night, guys. Enjoy your night. Enjoy the weekend. Happy weekend. Enjoy it, everybody. Okay. See, See you Monday. Monday. Happy See weekend. You, everybody. Happy okay. weekend. Bye. Bye. See you Monday. Bye, my friend. Good night. <laughs> Walter. Hi, my friend. Nice to see you, Walter. Hey. <laughs> nice to see you. See you. Pues está viendo a Pablo Escobar, Escobar o... <laughs> o el noticiero. Hello, Flor, how are you? 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 Hello,
Hello, teacher. <laughs> I had a good day. You had but, a but uh, but I very tired. Yeah, you look tired. <laughs> Wait, where are you where are you working now? Um still the, the where? Where are you working? In San Salvador? In San Salvador? No, no, no. The, the company. Oh. I remember. Ah, the, the foundation. The foundation, yes. Who was your, your co-worker <laughs> that I had as a, as, a, as a student? I was just trying to remember that one of these days. I can remember. Oh, Osmin, right? Yes. Yes, Osmin. Oh, my God. I remember now. Wow. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I saw your, your baby girl yesterday. When was it? Yeah, I picked up the kids yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, she was at the, at the gate. She was at the gate saying goodbye to, to Julia Beatriz. And she was like, oh my God, oh my God. You're staying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she was like bored, maybe because Julia was was leaving, right? So she was sad. She's Aww. beautiful. She's growing. Man, yeah. time flies really fast. Oh my god! So, <laughs> what have you? What? Why were you um, not here? Uh huh. Tell me, Flor. Eh, bueno, but um, I'm very happy the. You, you, teacher, again. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the I like the methodology. Methodology. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Methodology. 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 Hmm. And I, I learning. Learning, B. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> you feel? Uh, little, little, little. <laughs> little, little, little. No, little. Little, little. Ahí, la lengua hacia atrás, little. Little, little, little. Little, little, little. Just little? Little, little. Or little by little. Uh, yes, little by little. I'm learning little by little. Okay, so why um, why do you think it's difficult? Uh, for me, the uh, as in the the conversation mm -hmm. to maintain a conversation. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, the ideas go. <laughs> Word, que es esa Words don't come easy to me. <laughs> en la canción vieja que se llama así, Words don't come easy. Ah, ok. Sí, no, no eh. vienen las palabras fácilmente en la cabeza. Ok. ¿Qué estoy haciendo para mejorar eso? I the practice the Duolingo uh, and TikTok. <laughs> I see you. The um, recommendation, the pronunciation, and phrase, phrases. Mm -hmm. Phrases. Phrases and phrases. And phrases. Okay. And, the vocabulary. Vocabulary, okay. Okay, okay. So, but you have been coming to classes for a long time now, right? Like a, a year, something like that. Okay. Bien. Oh, pero entonces, ¿qué es lo que está, qué es lo que ha hecho falta? Porque yo esperaba que muchos de ustedes ya estuvieran como bien fluidos ya a ese nivel. Yes. 
Y hay dos cosas que influyen. ¿Y tú? <risas> hay dos cosas que influyen. No es solamente... Yo comprendo. Yo comprendo. No es solamente que tal vez la clase no haya sido muy participativa. ¿Sí? Alguna clase quizás no fue así. Y pues sí, de parte de los estudiantes quizás no ser énfasis o fuerza de que fuera de la clase se debe de practicar la gramática para venir a la clase a soltar la gramática por la lengua ya o sea, esa es la cosa también yo, yo bueno yo aquí en inglés corporativo empecé de cero pero sí siento que he aprendido pero poco no, no como yo esperaría al nivel que estamos ahorita Sí siento que eh, con la, en los módulos anteriores no había como ese feedback de, o, sea, o, o la corrección, porque eso para mí creo que es importante, porque en el momento que uno está pronunciando y si lo dijo mal o lo mencionó mal, pero si no lo corrigen, uno cree que lo está haciendo bien. Entonces uh -huh. eso creo que nos, nos ha faltado en los módulos anteriores. Y solo ha sido bien, ha sido bien así. O sea... Hemos estado sí practicando mucho vocabulario, pero eh, no, no había como esa corrección de que, miren, lo dijo mal, o sea, solo, ok, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nos hemos quedado con eso, por eso es que ahorita sí se siente la, la diferencia. El ácido es. <risas> Ajá. No, es, es importante, por eso yo, bueno, en mi caso despedí a varias personas por eso, porque era como decir a los estudiantes todo el tiempo, muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. Engañarlos. Qué bien. <risa> sí, pero entonces, ánimo, hay algo muy importante, eh, si las palabras no surgen, Flora, a la hora de conversar, es porque falta vocabulario nada más. ¿Cómo quiero vocabulario? Eh, simplemente agarrar un cuaderno en blanco, si nunca lo hizo o lo ha hecho, retómelo uh -huh. retómelo, eh, todos los días todos los días, empezar desde cero con el verbo to be eh, sujeto al verbo to be, el complemento negativa, pregunta voy con presente simple, ya sujeto, uh -huh. el verbo, el complemento sujeto, auxiliar, verbo, complemento y ahí voy, rellamar la información que ya tengo porque si he estado en clases todo ese tiempo muy probablemente la información ahí está Solo hay que sí. rellamarla, ¿ok? So, okay. ánimo, ánimo. Yo sé que cuesta. Yo sé que cuesta, pero... La verdad que, que ya quería, en este módulo ya no me quería inscribir. La verdad que bien cansado, porque, bueno, al menos me levanto a las cuatro, ya, ya, ya estoy dos. casi que muriendo de sueño. Yo sé, ya somos pero dos. No, Esta pero no ya. tengo el propósito y, y quiero lograrlo. Así que, ¿Por qué, Flor? Así son mucho. ¿Por qué? Lograrlo. Porque, no sé, siempre me ha llamado la atención el inglés. Por, tal vez, o sea, a veces en el trabajo hay conversaciones que escucho y, y me gustaría llegar a ese mismo nivel. Participar de eso, crecer Ajá. en el trabajo, mejores ingresos, los bichitos más sí. felices. Sí, que en sí, realidad eso es, eso es, al final, ya a este punto. Y, y, no, y yo, también, es, no, vale, y si un día me, me voy de donde estoy, pues puedo ir a aplicar a cualquier lado y sé que me voy a defender. Se sí. Muy buena no, manera. y usted tiene muchas, muchas posibilidades de crecimiento ahí. Eso yo lo sé. So, échele ganas, hombre. Échele ganas. Encuentre un momento okay. del día en el que se pueda dedicar ese tiempo solo para usted. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. okay. Nos vemos Thank mañana. See you again. Bye. El de Monday. Entrega de notas a las tres y media. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Bye. Bye. Good bye. Night.